Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over one of my favorite stick mixes and I'll show you also how to turn this into a method mix or ground bait, whatever you want to call it. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is just get a little container like this and I'm going to put one part breadcrumb, uh, probably about one cupful. You see right here, put about a cupful in there. Uh, not too much. Next thing we're going to do is our roasted peanut meal. Same thing, we're doing about a cup. About a cupful of that. And then finally, our Mega, Bel Mega Blend Sweet. And put about a cupful of that also, equal parts. Okay, next thing, before we add any liquids, we're just going to get a spoon and uh, mix this up really good. That way it's all evenly distributed. This is going to be like a sweet nutty mix for springtime. This has worked really well for me the past couple years. It just takes uh, about a minute to mix all this up evenly. And like I said, I'm just, I'm roughly about a cup each. Okay, once that's all mixed here, next thing I want to do, I want to use some uh, CC More Tiger Nuts. I want to put a couple of those in a quarter crusher. I'll just get them out with a spoon here. I only need a couple bit. This is just going to be for free offerings. Just maybe like 10, somewhere around there. So, do that. Crush those up really good. You just want fine particles for this. You can see here how well that grinded everything up. Just small pieces, probably about an eighth inch big. Just uh, put those in the, into the dry mix right now. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is our Tiger Knight Extract. Uh, this is going to basically bind everything together. It's a real uh, sweet smell. It smells just similar to the Tiger Nuts, just a little bit different. We're just going to put like a layer just on top there. Roughly maybe four tablespoons, somewhere around there. And then finally is our uh, feeding stimulator, the Feed Stim XP, using about a tablespoon of that. And I'm just going to put that on top of the liquid. And next thing to do is just mix it. This recipe right now is just for the stick mix. It's going to bind, but not so much that it's not going to pop as the PVA explodes. Right off the bat, this is going to clump up. But after mixing this for about three minutes, it's going to be even. So I'm not going to bore you with that. I'll be back on one second. Okay, about five minutes went by thoroughly mixed it and I just let it sit for a little that way all the liquids could soak into my stick mix. Uh, you're gonna see it's it's a uh, sticky it's a has a really good smell to it that the uh, carp really find attractive come springtime and I just made a uh, stick mix or a stick bag out of it and all I'm gonna do now just uh, run my needle through it put it onto my hook link and then pull it up. I'm also going to use an extra extra large uh, CC More Tiger Nut. All I'm going to do there is use that from a hook bait. This has definitely pulled a lot of big fish out for me so I wanted to share that with you. That way you can make a real easy mix at home. It doesn't cost a whole lot. And there we are. Pull this down. Usually, I'll put the hook into the uh, stick mix. That way, it protects the uh, point and also against tangles. And all I do left next is uh, have a little sleeve I put over the overhand loop. And then usually, I have like a quick link, and I just attach that on. Pop that on. 
And I like to use inline leads a lot of times. So basically that's what we have left right here. An inline lead, which is a bolt rig, PVA stick, and a tiger on the end. And this has pulled in many of big fish. So I'm going to show you also how to turn this into a method mix next, which is, all it is is add more breadcrumb. So let's go do that now. Okay, now it's time to show you the other part what you can do with this. Basically, all I'm going to do is add another cupful of breadcrumb in there. This is going to act as a binder, so that way if you don't want to use a PVA stick, you now have another option. So as you can see, I just added uh, more breadcrumb. Just gonna mix that in there. And obviously, since you just added a dry ingredient, you need more wetter in there. So I am going to put water as my wetter. I just took a capful of water. They're really just gonna sprinkle it over. I just took the lid off my uh, tiger nuts. That's gonna be more than enough. And all I'm going to do, just mix that around for about a minute, and again let it rest. That way it absorbs into all the crumb. And we'll come back in a few minutes so you can see how you can mold this around your lead as well. Okay, we're back. I just got done testing my mix. I had to add, actually add a little bit more water to it. You'll be able to feel because it'll be, uh, once you squeeze it together, it'll hold tight. So I just made a ball right now. And all I'm going to do, just like I would with a pack bait, I press out the center, got my uh, tiger knot on already, and uh, inline lead. Put that in the center right here. Press down, just mold around. The more you work with this, the more it feels almost like a paste. But this will dissolve probably in about two minutes on the bottom. So I just mold that around. It helps to dampen your hands a little bit. And here what we have, you'll be able to cast that out about 100 yards. It'll definitely stay in the line. You have your tiger nut right there. This will break down in about two minutes. I've test tested that in the water already. And like I said, the more that you uh, squeeze on this, the more it will turn into a paste. That way you can slow the breakdown. So now you have two alternatives, whether you want to use a stick mix, or if you want to turn this into like a ground bait or a method mix, whatever you want to call it. And I forgot to mention before with the stick mix, that is PVA friendly. I had that bag made up for about five, 10 minutes and it, it's not breaking down. So, you know, that's friendly. And I'm all using all the uh, CC More products today. Any questions on the video, just let me know and I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Thanks for watching.